This is Channel 4. The voices in that group belong to the Beatles. But this is not a programme about the Beatles, nor about the latest Liverpool sound coming from beside me, but rather about the place the Beatles came from and the people they left behind. The place, of course, is Liverpool, to my mind the strangest of all the cities of the North. Not the nicest, for nice is hardly a word one can apply to Liverpool, for it's hard drinking, hard living, hard fighting, violent, friendly and fiercely alive. Indeed, if one had to sum up the so-called Liverpool sound in one word, the sound that has swept south and become the musical sensation of this year, I choose the word vitality, sheer staggering vitality. And this is characteristic of the whole background of Liverpool. Today one gets the impression of a past uh, and vanished splendor. There are strange monuments, like the one behind me, which contains the body of the Liverpool MP, Mr. Huskinson. He took part in the opening celebration of the first Liverpool-Manchester railway, and, in a dash to shake hands with the Duke of Wellington, slipped on the line and was run over and killed by Stevenson's locomotive, the Rocket. Not only did the first steam railway service start from Liverpool, so did the first steam crossing of the Atlantic. But, of course, Liverpool is first and foremost a port. Its power grew in the early 1800s when Liverpool broke the slave trade monopoly previously held by London and Bristol. The population jumped from 70,000 in 1800 to 700,000 by 1900. Today, there's only a few thousand more than that and dropping fast. But Liverpool has found a new fame, a sound which has little to do with the sea. In this street, up to a thousand teenagers pour in for lunchtime and evening sessions to hear some of the several hundred groups who hope to follow in the footsteps of the successful Beatles. This is really the place where it all started about four years ago, in this steaming, smoky, sweaty cellar known as the cabin. The lights are turned down so low that it's difficult to see, and the volume turned up so high that at times it's hard to hear the actual tune. But at the least, the atmosphere is intensely alive and exciting. Do you love me? big feature of the Liverpool scene is the group. The one that you've just heard is Farron and his flamingos, who in fact recorded Do You Love Me a few months before another group got it into the hit parade. But there are also some individual performers, people like Tommy Quickly and Billy J. Kramer, who used to be managed by Ted Nibbs. And Mr. Nibbs now has a new discovery, 15-year-old Chick Graham. Right, so very much. I'd now like to do a number. It's a request for three girls named Valerie, Ruth and Dulcie. It's called Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow?
Now we have one of the veterans of Liverpool Beach, one of the first personalities on this scene, Rory Storm and the Hurricanes, who started seven years ago. Rory hit one of my fellow workers with a piece of toast in the face. You know, because he didn't want jam on it, he gets quite violent. <laughs> if, he's in, if his temper's allowed. And so I thought, oh, you know. So anyway, he said he'd give us a lift home. <laughs> it's very friendly, considering, you know. So he left me in Walton Cemetery. Well, no, you don't love me no more, no more. When I was about 12, I decided I wanted, I wanted to be a priest. Well, I tried that for about three years, and uh, Ella discovered women. Do you know the Beatles? We used to be big mates before we got all famous. But, you know, they still, we still talk to them when we see them, but we don't often see them now. Because, you know, they're, they're always away. But they're great, you know, George is fabulous, you know. Ils sont formidables, ces Anglais, et quelle chance ils ont. Les plages sont splendides, c'est le relax absolu, sans taxes. C'est vraiment un petit paradis. On peut louer une voiture, c'est pas cher du tout, même les topless. Les boissons sont pas chères, on y mange très bien. Et les hôtels, ils sont superbes. Les petites pensions sont charmantes. Remarquez bien, c'est normal. Bien sûr, c'est presque la France. Jersey, where Britain blends with France. A lady who's planning to make a dramatic entrance should look beautiful. Fresh, clear skin's a must, so Emily cares for hers with fairy. Fairy means the gentle care of wonderfully pure lather. Don't all women want such care? Making a dramatic entrance, even when you're not invited, look your loveliest with fairy. The pure, mild, gentle soap, so pure its name. We don't like to boast, but we've tested new Fairy Liquid's longer-lasting suds against the next best liquid you can buy. And we're rather proud of the result. The next best liquid lasted pretty well. Well enough to do all this washing up. Not bad. Till you see that Fairy, with its longer-lasting suds, goes on to do more, much more. On average, 50% more. And of course, it's still as mild and gentle as ever. New, richer fairy liquid. Not just a little bit better, but 50% better than the best of the rest. Oh, what is this? Oh, a clue. Oh, the enticement. Oh, the sparkle. Oh, <laughs> Perrier, naturellement. When Dad offered to show Gran how to play golf, she 
soon had the game Ooh. off to a tea. I knew they'd need a nice cup of quick brew when they got home. Quick brew makes a lovely cup of tea because these flavour perforations let all the rich taste of the tea flow through. Well, Graham, good game. Smashing! Hello, dear. Mm. One mm. lump or two. Mm. Quick brew makes a lovely cup of tea. When in Liverpool I first arrived to seek a situation, I heard the people say it was the pride of all the nation. The main streets have an urgent movement to them that reminds me of the main cities of Australia. The back streets are how I imagine London looked a hundred years ago. Drab, dirty, whose only colour lies in the people. If I was going to make a film on Jack the Ripper, this could be the setting. Because Liverpool was a town that grew up in a hurry and was virtually built in the last half of the last century, it has now grown old. There are reputedly 80,000 slum dwellings. All away and leaves me without a Perhaps one day we'll make a splash What little would supply the cash And buy an old Sidmati Yash and get you down to brewing. Oh, you are a bucky kid, dirty as a dustbin lid. Where the years the things you did, you'll get a belt from your dad. Oh, you've got your daddy's face, you grow it up for real hard case. But there's no one else that could take your place. To go to sleep for your mind. With its big Catholic population, Liverpool has been called the capital of Ireland, and the fierce conflict of religion is another characteristic of the city. Many a fight has taken place over King Billy, the Protestant King William of Orange, who succeeded the Catholic James II. Another aspect of the city is the extraordinary energy and time devoted to drinking. Apart from clubs and pubs, there are wine lodges serving cheap but potent Australian wine known as Plonk. Though the pubs don't feature entertainment to the extent they do in London, one does find the regular who wanders in with his guitar to give the others a song. We are the brothers Malone. In a fight or a bus, you will always find us.
Folk music is a natural feature of the Liverpool scene, springing from the sea shanties brought back by members of the crew over the centuries and sung here by the spinners. With a foot perch rock, all hammocks lashed and all chest locks. We'll haul her into Waterloo Dock. Oh, Jenny, get your old cakes done. With jamboree, with jamboree, oh, your big tail sailor hanging down behind. With jamboree, with jamboree, oh, Jenny, get your old cakes done. And now, me lads, we're all. We'll be up to Dan Lowry's on the spot And there we'll sup a big pint pot Oh, Jenny, get your old cakes done With jamboree, with jamboree Oh, your big tail sailor hanging down behind With jamboree, with jamboree Oh, Jenny, get your old cakes done In a man's town, Jacqueline MacDonald and Bridie O'Donnell are certainly the exception, and even write their own songs, such as this one. numbers of Chinese, but the only Chinese beat group I could find was the Silent Three, so-called because they say nothing and play nothing. The coloured population grew from 1850 onwards and came mainly from the ships. Today there are around 10,000 to 15,000 coloured people, but little racial trouble as they are yet another ingredient in the general melting pot. It is not surprising that one of the most popular groups is entirely coloured. The original chant! Yeah! Thank you, Tom. We'd like to do a number we recorded in London some time ago. It's called I Could Write a Book. <laughs>
Hello again. Well, to come on stage in a few moments, we have a group, and to us Liverpoolians, we think we're fab. And I'm sure you will too. So I will leave you now with the very talented Earl Preston and the TTs. <laughs> What did it have to be you? A little girl with a turned up nose A little girl, well, heaven knows What you done to me What did it have to be you? A little girl, when I fell I fell too late to wear You made a fool of me Like cool I was, I went and fell Right from the start Now you're gonna now sitting here Level the broken heart way Okay. I'd like to sing a song called My Prayer. My prayer is to linger with you at the end of the day.
to me. Back again to me. When Ken Dodd was asked why so many comedians came from Liverpool, he said, well, you have to be a comedian to live there. The bright scow sense of humour is yet another asset of the Beatles and of the other great Liverpool group, Jerry and the Pacemakers, who have reached number one in the hit parade with each of their records. indeed and hello from us. Uh, we'd now like to go on with a much slower quiet number. It's in the cold, you'll never walk alone. Thank you. I'd like to carry on with the 
Let's pass the number to Rocky Rola. Very favourable to that. Let's go P10. Thank you. P10. It is very hard to do. Night falls, the streets grow emptier, but work still goes on and play continues inside the late night clubs. There's a great sense of community in Liverpool. From the poverty and the ugliness, from the mixed races and religions, comes, oddly enough, a warmth and a pride in the city. The groups may grow rich, but they do not wear gold lame jackets or adopt a new accent or sweep up in a Rolls Royce. They are still the boys next door, and this is their great appeal. When the Beatles are playing nearby, they travel miles to return to their friends and for late night drink at clubs like this one, the Blue Angel, where I chatted to Ringo Starr and Paul McCartney after they'd finished an evening in Blackpool. This lack of pretension is one of the charms of Liverpool, where to be pretentious would only get one laughed at. down the street to hear yet another type of music at the Jacaranda. It is now two o'clock in the morning and as one might expect, Liverpool seems to be a city that never goes to sleep. Indeed, one gets the impression that Liverpool lives more for tomorrow than for today. And maybe in a few hours time, another singer, another group will be discovered and head south for the moment of splendor but behind in Liverpool, in the pubs and clubs and dance halls and in coffee bar cellars like the one below me, the music will still go on.
On Saturday, link up with the whole of Europe for five and a half hours of rock in Europe a go go. Twenty years ago, one of the most successful series on television was the hard-hitting, high-level business wheeling and dealing of the power game, with Patrick Weimark and Barbara Murray. And its first episode was The New Boy. And it's after the break. At this time of year, people all over the country are planning their next holiday. I got them! Okay, now have all made up our minds exactly what we want. How about swimming? Sandy Beach is his horse riding! So let's put it in writing. My mum says make it neat. Because she's taking us to Thomas Cook this afternoon. Oh, Lucy, don't forget Oliver. With the Thomas Cook Holiday Pledge, we promise to find you a holiday resort that fits all your requirements, or give you your money back. Let's see. Pony riding, swimming, hamburgers, sea fishing, fun fairs. Yay! Don't just book it. Thomas Cook it. Are you sure you're feeding the cat? From what we at Grundig already know, we can tell you that tomorrow's technology will be here sooner than you think. Come and see how close we are. Grundy, fast forward into the future. It's happening at Texas New Year's Day. Over two million pounds of quality paint and quality wall coverings heavily reduced. Miles of tiles up to 40% off. Huge savings on bathrooms, bedrooms and kitchens. Thousands of DIY bargains. See you at the Great Texas Sale New Year's Day. It's magic. When we created a luxurious new beauty soap called Cousin's Pearl, our first thought was to make it last. Cousin's Pearl stays firm and smooth with a rich yet delicate lather and a fragrance you'll treasure. Beautiful Cousin's Pearl for those precious moments in the bath. A little off the beaten track for a wine writer, perhaps. But to master blend coffee, these plantations are as precious as a great Bordeaux estate. Only some of the finest high-grown beans are good enough for master blend. Almost a whole tree for just one pound. And what other coffee must pass five separate selection stages? The result? Rounded, full-bodied, and smooth. Why compromise? Choose master blend, the finest ground coffee you can make. No other ketchup is richer or thicker than Heinz tomato ketchup, which probably explains why no other ketchup tastes quite like Heinz. Heinz is rich with juicy tomatoes. Mmm, so it'll never be thin on flavor. There's no taste better than Heinz.